Hello and welcome. Today I'm joined by Klaus Monoff, Head of Design and Deco Management for, for the Egger Group. Hello, Klaus. Hello, Elliot. Nice to see you. Yeah, yes, and you. Um, firstly, thanks for taking the time to join me today. Um, I hope you and your family are well. Yeah, so far everything is okay. Yeah, thanks. Good, good. Um, I guess the, the first question to ask really is how are you finding the current market situation in Germany at the moment, uh, given these very unusual times? Yeah, of course, uh, we have very uncertain times for all market uh, and for all partners in the market. And at the moment, it is, in my opinion, quite difficult to suppose uh, every week, every day, maybe we have changes and we have to switch some things. We have to change some things uh, according to this. And in my opinion, this will stay at least for the another next uh, four weeks, at least here in Germany. Um, I mean, I guess as well, it's sort of linked into that, but how are we having to adapt to change as a result of this? And um, what, what overall impact has it had on, on us as a business as well? Yeah, uh, I think when when we compare it from from the whole businesses, but especially for for us and but also for our customers, I think everybody from from us uh, will be very carefully in every di direction for the next weeks and months. Uh, every consumer uh, will be unsure uh, when to to spend money in which direction in, in which uh, maybe quantity uh, they are not um, let's say willing to to accept big risk i think uh, this is in any case uh, such an impact of uh, of such a crisis mm -hmm. yeah yeah um also really linked into this, but I guess a big part of what we do within within Deco management is, of course, looking at trends. Um, how do you see the current situation impacting on trends now and, and, and in the future as well as a result of this? Yeah, we have uh, here in our Deco uh, and design department, we have followed up, let's say, a lot of trend uh, reports, trend speeches from different experts over the last three, four weeks. And we have also sit together here in our uh, teams to, to, to talk uh, what kind of these informations uh, will take a biggest part. So when you see the different information, they are going in absolutely opposite directions. We see uh, uh, trend experts like Lee Edelcourt. She says everything will go into the opposite side. Uh, people will look at Netflix, read, will read more books, uh, will less travelings, uh, stay on the countryside, things like that. But on the other side, also um, some trend experts feel the, the opposite thing. They said, of course, there will be a time which uh, reduced, um, let's say, the consumption for the people. But every kind of reduction of consumption means after a, spe a specific time, uh, when maybe the uncertain time is over, uh, that there is an increase, even a bigger step to consume products. So when you have a shortage of something, after a special time, there will be an increase of consumption. Uh, I think this will take a longer time, uh, but both, let's say, discussions, in my opinion, have some right and some wrong things. I think the first part will bring more the, the opposite side, but after um, that maybe half a year, it is uh, true, I expect, uh, then the people will start to, to buy furniture again. They will spend uh, their money. They are looking to go to the restaurants again, things like that. And uh, then they will be happy uh, after this shortage uh, as of this uh, limited time uh, to, to return to normal way and even maybe more. Yeah, yeah, and so I guess that's it's really interesting, isn't it, to see how this is going to going to evolve and over over time. But um, as you know, we we recently launched our our new collection, the Ego Decorative Collection, um, to the global market. Um, and with the current and future trends being at the forefront of our new deco and product innovations, um, how has the current sort of situation impacted that? Um, and do you now see any interesting changes or shifts in our forecasts as a result of this? Yeah, let's say we have launched our collection considering all the new decors uh, in groups of nine different trend worlds. And I think uh, the idea behind these nine different trend worlds are that we have a worldwide uh, 
uh, valid collection and we will not have in all the regions in all the countries at the same time uh, exactly the same demand on new trend oriented decors some markets are let's say slowly uh, slower than others or other take more risk uh, are more uh, on contemporary parts and i think this uh, let's say uh, way to have and to talk about different trend, trend worlds and to put the decors in these little, uh, different trend worlds uh, are a good point, especially now uh, for this time, um, as uh, let's say our range in total is wide enough to cover all the demands also under uh, uh, considering the, the changes with what will happen. In our opinion, when we launched the collection, we had some of the trend worlds where we said like uh, light urban, or black options, these are very important uh, uh, influences, trend influences for the next months, for the rest of the year, maybe. And this maybe will be going to change that maybe trend worlds like uh, pure nature or perfect imperfection, which are popular even for, for the last time, will stay maybe a little bit longer, will be more in the, in the pool position a little bit more. So I think there will be a change of the importance of um, uh, the trend, different trend worlds and maybe things what we expected to be successful now will take a little bit longer but uh, with this let's say wide uh, uh, let's say range of decors uh, I think we can offer to the market really uh, for every time the right uh, demand. Mm -hmm. Yeah um, I guess in terms of product development um, and decor development in the future as well. Um, what impact has the current situation had on this, um, both in the short term and in, in the long term as well? Yeah, let's say uh, when uh, I'm looking back to the, the similar situation of 2008-2009 when we had this financial uh, crisis, uh, it has during that time also, let's say, an impact uh, on, on the trends during that time. Uh, it was interesting to see that um, after a long time of black, which was important, white becomes uh, also very uh, important and both colors have been combined to, together. And at that point, um, immediately uh, this trend stopped and has been, uh, or this interruption has been covered then by very warm colors by brown uh, uh, and very natural orientated uh, decors. And uh, I expect that this will happen again, that uh, yeah, to say the, the customers are looking then a little bit more for this cocooning style, for this warmer colors. Uh, but uh, there will be maybe one interesting point. We just have uh, launched uh, under new uh, trend information that brown will become also important brown colors on wood grains but also on solid colors as they can be combined quite good to this black trend uh, and um, when we see black uh, where we have in the meantime so many let's say application products like uh, tabs like um, handles uh, we think that uh, this trend of brown could really be uh, uh, improved due to two facts. On one side, that uh, the consumers are looking into this cocooning character, but on the other side, uh, it is a quite good match uh, to a lot of uh, black accessoires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also as well, sort of linked to that, um, I guess here in the UK, we're finding that many customers at the moment are using this as an opportunity to evaluate their current offerings. Um, and using this time, I guess, to, to look at product development in order to come out with a situation in a stronger position. Um, I mean, have you seen that in other markets? And in particular, what's been the response in, in the German kitchen industry as well? Um, yeah, I think there's a, a kind of uh, speeches that in, in bad times, much more in, innovations rise up. Let's say uh, in good times, every but it is, let's say, busy and is not uh, so orientated, let's say, on, on new products and innovations. And always when you have bad times uh, or crisis, uh, people start 
to think about new options, new new ways. And let's say a simple thing uh, where I'm quite sure uh, what will uh, develop quite soon are maybe a kind of health checkpoints at airports and train stations uh, to avoid this again. And same as uh, these are maybe things what are more or less available, what with which will be installed now quite soon. The same will happen with product uh, development and decor development. That um, let's say the uh, the companies uh, will uh, after a short let's say stop, they will say, okay, we have to go forward. And it is interesting for me. You asked me regarding the uh, response of the German kitchen industry. We learned from uh, one of the bigger uh, producers that he decided uh, not to show any new things uh, for the autumn house fair, as he thinks that it makes no sense for, for the retailers to offer in these difficult times, um, let's say, some new products. But all the others are doing uh, uh, absolutely the, the opposite. They said after a short discussion now we will continue with our planned new program we think we have to offer new items new products in let's say weaker times we have to be innovative and this confirms what i said at the beginning in in let's say bad times you have to invest into innovations uh, in good times it's not so necessary and i think this this uh, feeling i get at the moment we've uh, got the information on many new things, what the German kitchen industry are planning to do. And uh, so this confirms really uh, that uh, the decisions in that uh, direction has been made. As, as you know, here in the UK, we're, we're launching and, and looking to do something similar um, with a new platform called Egg Air Interactive, um, you know, with, which will host sort of Q&A sessions with market leader figures such as, such as yourself, um, but also alongside that with, with trend and product videos. Um, and decor consultations to customers, which I guess is going to change the way that we work and, and present um, to the customer base. Um, one plus from all of this, I guess, is that um, we've seen an opportunity to get closer to the customer and create a more personalized approach, um, both through the, the technology we have available. Um, well, it's not obviously not having the, the opportunity to, to meet face to face. Um, are you also seeing this type of development in other countries? Um, and as a result of the current climate, do you also see this becoming more important, not only now, but, but in the future as well? There are really good uh, possibilities available, tools available. And um, let's say, of course, it's not this face-to-face -face, uh, conversation like we would meet each other in a, in a meeting room uh, or a presentation room. But uh, finally, uh, these this tools still means uh, the this Q and R discussions and uh, like things like that are still really a conversation and not uh, what it has been in the past. Maybe where you had uh, only a, a PowerPoint presentation and only one person is informing the others. There is no time or no possibility to to ask questions and to to talk about it. I think this uh, uh, this way is really helpful and will, in my opinion, will be used in the in the future much more often. Uh, it will also, considering that maybe under all this discussion of climate <laughs> and environmental things, uh, reduce the, the traveling uh, um, parts. And uh, finally, a lot of things can be done by this. I'm quite optimistic that uh, this uh, will be a good way for the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, finally, uh, thanks. Thanks again for your time today, Klaus. Um, it's much appreciated, and it's great to get obviously get your views on the impact that the current situation is having in other markets and the effects that it's likely to have on trends now, but also in in the future as well. Um, to to finalise, how do you think that trends are likely to develop going forward, um, and do you think we'll look back at the current situation as a key factor in in trend development? Yeah, I think um, it will have a big, big impact uh, on on the trends, and uh, I'm quite sure uh, in within the next two, three years, we will quite often use the work uh, the time for Corona and the time after Corona uh, when we talk about the trends. I think that is for sure. This will be have an, an influence 
it will, uh, let's say, specially spread also, let's say, maybe a general trend, uh, which was valid for, for, let's say, every level of consumers uh, up to now. Maybe this will spread in, in, in the way that people um, who are maybe have a bigger impact uh, financial wise by this uh, crisis, they will go and move more and stronger trend wise also and from their interest um, to, to products, to colors, which uh, are a little bit more timeless. And maybe people who have not such a big, let's say, uh, influence, financial influence uh, got by, by the crisis, maybe they still will still stay a little bit more on the contemporary side on the on the direction what we have at the moment or what we saw before and they will stay to this so in my opinion um we will have a much stronger uh differentiation of of different two different trend characters so we are talking at the moment there will be a big interest like mentioned before on this pure nature character but uh, yeah. on the other side, uh, contemporary styles like black options, like matte finishes will stay also. Matte stays for, let's say, kind of warm atmosphere and this will, this will stay. So um, this means for me, the, this um, crisis will have a, a big impact on the trends. It's, uh, it makes it wider and divides it a little bit that uh, I did for sure, yeah. Thanks. Thanks again for for your time. Um, it really is appreciated, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to to meet up um, in person uh, soon rather than than via uh, video conference. <laughs> okay, That's good. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Klaus. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Cheers.